Hey everyone, Psychra Yasin here, and welcome to another episode of Pointy Chins, where I take you through my art journey. So, here we have some caricature things, and I actually like them quite a lot. Uh, they're based on some pretty basic shapes, like this guy's just very boxy, you know, little thing, and the, I guess he's supposed to be one of the ice cream salesman people from the olden days. And uh, this is a person from the olden days and this guy is a um, triangle shape and here I decided to do some more perspective -y things um, using blocks I think it helps you know having blocks I mean her legs are not the same length so that's a problem uh, and is whatever and then here I did an environment thing um, just from imagination so I mean this traffic like clearly is in the wrong place I think um, and this is supposed to be a tram and some old-timey buildings I don't know not great but whatever uh, and here I was using the white for uh, that white marker Posca, it's called a Posca marker and it lays down opaque white, but it doesn't really work that well, uh, at least for this. Tried to make it look like she was wearing shiny glasses, but it didn't quite work out. But I didn't hate that. And this page, well, eh, I don't know, it's okay. Uh, I like this character, that's pretty nice. Um, maybe I was doing it from reference, I don't know, for one of them and then the other wasn't, or maybe they both weren't from reference, I'm not sure. Not sure, and I don't know, this girl's very tall. I don't really think it's working, but it's not entirely awful. And this is okay as well. Man, these aren't too bad. I like this girl, she looks pretty cool. Um, and giving three freckles, it's the rule of threes. Basically, if you have an object and it needs to repeat. Like, let's say you had buttons on a shirt. Uh, the idea is you just keep it odd numbers. Like, you wouldn't have two buttons or four buttons. You would have three buttons or five buttons or one button or seven buttons, and that's always going to look more appealing. And if you want the least amount possible, it's usually best to go with three because it'll look like there's stuff, like there's enough information, but uh, it's not too... Uh, overwhelming either and this is very useful for animators because you know you're going to be drawing the same character the same thing over and over and over again uh having less is very helpful and i guess this is from reference i'm assuming so anyway and yeah all right so here i was trying to do my own version from memory of like a joe mad type style but in my style, and I don't think it quite worked out. Like the perspective is a bit crazy how it's going like this way and then this way. Um, but it's okay, I guess. And what else? Uh, this is pretty neat, this thing. I think it looks quite interesting. Um, I like this character too. And I started doing this thing with lines where, see, I take these curved lines and I just extend them to create the contours of the face and I don't know it gives this kind of sharp look I don't know if I'll do it a lot but it's interesting for an idea anyway and then this character looks pretty nice and this one's kind of cool too yep yep a lot more to like than the last month um I guess this is from reference as well and this is not, and this is not uh, very pointy overall characters starting to come together. And let's see, some shading. Is it good? I don't think so. Does it work? I also don't think so. But it's not ugly, like not, I mean, it's not super ugly. I'm getting better with the parallel lines, so that's something nice. And I like this figure too, I guess from reference. And 
this is from reference and this is from reference. I guess I'm using reference a lot more and I think it shows. Uh, and then this whole page is from imagination, except for this one. Is it which one? I think it's this one. Yeah, I think this one is not from imagination. Um, but it seems to be like the characters are looking better. Uh, the proportions are still not quite there. I'm not quite happy with the way I'm drawing some of them like this, like it's too long here. And then this is a bit short and the knee and stuff. It's like, yeah, almost, almost, but not quite. And there's also more form going on in terms of like this head feeling like, yeah, the neck comes down and then the, the chest comes forward and then it goes down again. Um, and same here, like you can see the center line that goes around and it's going around this form. Um, and then here, what I was doing is, uh, I was thinking of the character war from Darksiders, uh, one, the first one, and, uh, this is obviously not good, but I was thinking how he is supposed to represent war, but it didn't really feel like war to me. And I thought, well, what would feel like war? And I thought, oh, if he just has like every single armor and every weapon, it's a bit dumb as an idea, but just much, much more. Um, this, I don't think, looks good. Um, and then here, I was doing this thing. I mentioned it in the last uh, Pointy Chins where you basically, you take things to a point and show, uh, you get gesture in things. So, for instance, with this character, um, if you look right about here, right? Or maybe it's, uh, I don't know. I think it's here. The, like everything is pulled to pulled towards this one point. Maybe it's here. I'm not sure, but it's all moving in one direction. There's a gesture to this, but then in this one there isn't really uh, this character. It's like yeah, it's just a character. Uh, this armor, and then for this one it's the same thing, but there's gesture. See, all the lines are sort of pulling down to this one common point, and I thought this really makes something look more appealing. Like if I just glance at this page, which one stand out? Well, this one stands out. Um, to me, this stands out a bit more. Uh, maybe the horse stands out and then this stands out and this one as well. It's like, you've got all the detail and it's pulled towards this area. So you've got this area of rest, but then all this information is getting stronger and more detailed as you get closer and closer to that. And then here it's pretty, you know, relaxed. There's more space. And it kind of looks like this guy's, this head and this arm are connected. I didn't want that to be the case. Uh, so I tried to use this line to show like, no, they're not connected. Uh, don't view it that way. But even I can't stop looking at it. There's too many tangents. It just looks like this guy has a really big arm. Um, but anyway, that's fine. And here, uh, more cut off body parts and uh, let's see, again, you know, playing with this idea of flow, um, I kind of stopped doing this and I have to remember to do it more because it's really working in this guy too. Um, if you can see, it's sort of like he's pulled from maybe this point around this point. It's like, that's where all the tension is. All the lines are pulling towards that. And, um, I guess it's just force, like all the energy and the force is pulled towards one point. And this one too, trying that, see, all the information, all the patterning is going to a point and I think it's very appealing. And this is trying to do something like that with, with this force pulling something. Uh, I guess it kind of feels like weight, not a ton. And this guy, again, see here, it didn't, I didn't really do it, but this guy I did and everything's pulled and it looks a lot more interesting, a lot more animated. So yeah, I really have to remember this and apply this more. And I don't know, again, I mean, this is terrible, but overall not too bad. And here, I mean, more stuff, that's cool. Uh, I mean, this doesn't really make sense, but sure, that's an idea. Um, and then this I thought was interesting. Just trying to play with faces, different faces. I mentioned before how um, I wanted to make my characters 
or my style open to a lot of different characters, not just one type. So yeah, I have like this pretty generic uh, face that's quite, I don't know, I guess it's attractive, but it's pretty much just, there's not, it's kind of bland, there's not much to it. Uh, and I like that face, but I also like playing with it, you know, experimenting with, you know, this character is a bit more bony, um, got sort of a broken nose here and a different hairstyle, but it looks cool. It looks like the character has more character. And here, I guess I was playing a bit more with gesture. Uh, this one doesn't have too much, but this does, you know, you can see the, the line of action here. Um, and then this too, it's a nice S curve. And this is kind of cool for a character, you know, basic shapes, thinking about basic shapes and not getting too detailed and trying to get as much information in this. Because if you can make it cool in this stage and then you're just adding more detail and refining it, it still hopefully will maintain some of that coolness so long as you don't end up completely losing it. Um, and in this case, I guess I was trying to figure out where's a good hand position for him. So you see like all these different things are just ideas for what would look good as an arm position. Um, some floating characters, a skull, and this guy's kind of nice. Uh, this is a bit more like my generic faces. And then these are more pushed. But this one is not conveying form correctly. Because if you think about it, okay, so the breasts are coming forward like this and the chest is coming forward. So this circle should be actually an oval and it should be going diagonally on top of the surface. So these are very important things to keep in mind. Um, I may have just accidentally done that by doing it all in pen first. And then here, uh, more stuff from imagination. This may have been a study. It looks like a study. It looks like this is probably from reference. This is from imagination, clearly. Um, and here, I was trying a different pen. Uh, I forget what, what type of pen it was. Maybe it was like a Pentel pen, but anyway. Uh, it was okay, but... And like, I think some of the results are nice. Like, see, you can get different line quality. Um, this kind of reminds me of uh, stuff Cynics does and Kim Jong-gi in terms of their uh, tools, but it wasn't me. Like it just, it felt like, yeah, this is nice, but it's not me. Uh, and this one is from uh, Imagination. I just wanted to try and get some lighting down and play with skin tones and experiment with this idea that sure the outside or the drawing is very sharp and like my normal drawings but then it's rendered and can I pull it off and here I don't think I did the colors are okay I guess and then this one was a photo study so this is actually just a cosplayer girl and then I brought her into my style and it's hard to maintain the style completely when you're looking at reference uh, and then I tried to put the values pretty close to what they were, um, maybe pushing them a bit in places. And I thought, yeah, the result's okay. Um, it reminded me a bit of uh, guys like Crown Prince and uh, I guess Zeranus and, and people like that who really, I think they use reference and sort of do uh, imaginary things based on that. Um, I really like this guy. <laughs> I think that's very cool. Uh, it's like a policeman guy and then this character is nice there's a lot of appeal here here as well uh, i think i had a pretty good month uh, for this pointy chins this one's okay and this one is based on characters that flavia does um, she does these weird characters with very strange hair and teeth and this is a, a bag and uh yeah, more, more probably playing with proportions, trying to understand things. Uh, you can see here, you know, like, oh, it's a breast. Is it more squished? Is it not? Uh, how, how do these work? What, what is your character like? Where are the, how long are the legs? Where are the knees? Um, and I like this one a lot in terms of expression. That's very intense. That's cool. I like the hair. I like how simple it is. Um, 
I think I'm moving on somewhere. It's going places now. It's getting more solid. Um, still not happy with the legs, but yeah, that's a cool character. Uh, that's a cool character. This sucks. Um, these are kind of interesting, these expressions. And this is kind of nice, this cat person and this little thing. Mm. And then more floaty people with weird hair. I'm still having trouble with the hair, you know, trying to make it... Is it detailed? Is it... Or is it simple like this? I think simple seems to work much better. Uh, detailed seems like you would have to add detail everywhere for it to work. Um, but I don't really like this character. It's okay. It's okay. Let's just say that. And this, But this one I like. This one I like. And this one I like. Uh, in terms of their expression, this one I don't like. Uh, but they, they feel alive. They feel like they've got uh, a personality to them. And this feels like it's got less. But I probably just messed up on the eyes and had to black them out. And this person's head uh, came off. This person's running. That's that's pretty cool as a as a gesture. At least, I mean, you can figure out which hand is which, but it's got something. And this character is interesting. And moving on, I don't really like this page. This one's okay. I like this character a bit. Um, I'm trying to find figure out squishy things. See here. Like, it's supposed to be a knife going into something squishy, but I still have trouble with this. Uh, understanding some of these forms, and this is pretty cool. Like, I'm getting the torsos much better, I, I think. Um, but see, I'm trying to push her shoulder into her cheek, and it's supposed to be squished. I don't know if it quite looks right. Um, and then here, uh, again, with the squishies, you know, trying to understand squishy shapes and shading and stuff. Um, and here I did a study of Slugbox, who is very good with this type of squishy stuff. Um, so this is just a copy of one of his images. And I still quite can't quite grasp it. I don't know. At times like this, I just feel really dumb that I can't get these concepts and other people can, but um, I don't know. I've been through this before where it takes me longer, but eventually I get it and I'm hoping I will with this too. And then here I was more uh, inspired by uh, my friend Bob Meatbag, who tends to do characters and suits and things and um, sort of 1950s, 1940s, 1930s clothing. And so I think I, just did these two because I was curious like oh what what would it look like if I did stuff like that um I don't know it's okay I guess and this one I tried I think it's a failed experiment but I tried using text uh to see if it enhances the pictures at all uh so first I drew them and then I tried to give them something to say that suited their expression it just seems stupid uh and this, uh, so, <laughs> I don't know. I don't need braces and you think I spit a lot? I don't know. And this guy's saying neoteny. And if you don't know what neoteny is, it's this thing that uh, cute and young, or young creatures, like babies and little kids, and even baby animals, they share this thing in common where they tend to have a larger cranium, um, big eyes, a small nose, a small mouth. And when we see these things, we tend to feel like they are cute and adorable and we want to protect and take care of these creatures with these features. And uh, women also tend to have more neotenous features in terms of, you know, a larger forehead and uh, bigger eyes, smaller nose, smaller mouth, softer, rounded features. Um, and so with this guy, I just did the exact opposite. I gave him like a humongous chin, a big mouth, big nose, small eyes, a very small forehead, big ears, uh, a sloping forehead and stuff. It's just like he's the exact opposite of a neotenous cute face. Whereas even this one, um, 
and anime uses this a lot with uh, both its males and females. It just makes them cuter by increasing the amount of neotenous features present. Um, and here, uh, this guy's blowing at this chick, which is making the dress or the skirt billow. Um, floaty people. I guess this page has more heavy people. I'm trying to play around with that for a while. And here what I'm doing is I had this idea of drawing kind of, I don't know, characters with see transparent bodies kind of, but they're filled with, I don't know, jelly or gummy or some kind of candy substance and the light, like when they would be painted, the light would pass through, but they don't have internal organs or skeletons or anything. It's very... Like, it just doesn't make any sense, but it's just something that I like the idea of and I wanted to play around with. And so this one's pregnant, this one's just got um, big breasts. And uh, I started with a pen. I think I started with the pen. No, I started with the pen second, probably, and then added the line, but I'm not sure. Um, and then here, uh, I, I'm experimenting with this thing of, is it better if I start with a rough, sketchy line? Um, but in my, like in a lighter ink color and then go over it in black and it's okay, but something seems to get lost. Uh, although this, this character is pretty cool. I like the proportions and stuff and this one too. Um, maybe not the hands. Yeah, that's a big fail, but the face is kind of nice. And this one's very skinny. Didn't quite work. This one's head looks broken. Um, but overall, it's okay. Oh, this character, that's her head, that's her body, that's her butt, that's her legs, that's her uh, feet, and that's her boobs. And <laughs> I was like, what? what is going on with this? Because I just looked at this and I thought it was one thing. No, it is not. It is not. And here, this one's pretty nice, but then... I think I'm starting to lose it here because I don't like some of these. I really don't like this one. Um, these are okay, I guess, but I'm not sure. And this one, it's just, you know, a thing from imagination. I was kind of happy with this that I could do this much from imagination. Usually to get this level, even though it's not great or anything, um, I tended to need reference. And then it's like, yeah, I could do things that were okay. But this is from imagination, really not working, really not working too well. But it's a nice test, I suppose, to try and do things from imagination, see how well you can do. And then for this one, I did this first, and then I made a new layer in Photoshop, and I filled it with, uh, it doesn't really matter, I filled it with some color, and I turned the layer mode to difference, and then I went to Control U, which opens up the hue and saturation sliders, and I changed the brightness and the saturation and the hue until I got this. And I thought between the two of these, I like this one much more. It's definitely got more of an impact. And so it's a gimmick, it's a trick, but it's like, yeah, I could use this at times. And here, uh, I guess this is not a very good day. Uh, this character is kind of funny and this one too. I don't know, something about this expression. And I guess I drew her again here. So I guess these two are the same. And this character, that's a okay butt. And this character stuck in like a, I don't know, a bag or I'm not sure. Um, and then here I'm trying to bring things forward in space. Um, I'm trying to do ellipses in perspective. I know this is wrong. Maybe this one's right, but these ones seem wrong. Um, I'm trying to figure out that thing, you know, the, when you do an ellipse, the minor axis points to the vanishing point. Uh, I don't know if you don't know that, but it's a thing. This is okay. It's pretty cool. The foreshortening and stuff. <laughs> and this, I guess, drawing a guy with his hand up. Again, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, a person inside a book. And I don't know. This has some energy. 
I'm not quite sure what my point was in doing these. It seems like I'm just drawing at this point and having, maybe trying to have a good time and draw things that are interesting to me. And it seems more interesting than definitely some of the stuff I'm doing now, which is more, you know, very specific uh, problems I'm trying to solve. And here I started with uh, some light marker and trying to draw with ink on top of it. Again, it's an idea where trying to, you know, keep the life and energy, but I don't, I don't like this. I don't think it's working. Uh, maybe not even at all. I'm not sure this is okay, but I think it works better when I just start with ink than when I try and do under drawings and bring them to finish. So I didn't stick with this idea. Um, although it is something that I was curious about, but anyway, in the next episode, we'll be continuing, you know, hopefully learning new things and going further. So, uh, hope you stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.